Uh, I think Happy Corbin is the luckiest man in WWE. Why? I would agree with that assessment. Let's talk about this, Cole. From riches to rags, back to riches. How can you not be inspired by Happy Corbin? He doesn't have to rub it in our face. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City. Weighing in at 275 pounds. Happy Corbin! I am so tired of Happy Corbin running his mouth. He's got to be the most obnoxious person in sports entertainment. No, it sounds to me like you're just sick with envy. Corbin is a positive force, a true example of what it means to be a winner, not only in WWE, but in life. Despite his despicable behavior, you can't deny his ability. There you go, Saxton. Try being objective for once. Corbin's a boxing champion. He won the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Mr. Money in the Bank, King of the Ring. Shall I go on? A Hall of Famer and our former broadcast colleague, guys. A wrestling god. And his opponent from New York City, weighing in at 290 pounds, John Bradshaw Layfield, JBL. One of the longest reigning champions of the ruthless aggression era. A man whose personal wealth is matched only by his wealth of wrestling knowledge. Hey, Corey, you think JBL will pay the medical facility bills for his opposition tonight? tonight. Nothing pretty about what JBL does, but it sure is effective. If you're a fan of the old school, you are in for a treat tonight. The name of the game is aggression and momentum. We'll see if that's enough for JBL to get the win here. And then you have a straight-up bully in the form of Happy Corbin, who is more than ready to prove just how dangerous he can be once the bell rings. Look at his face. He absolutely loves getting his aggression out, being as ruthless as humanly possible. Hey, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life, Saxton. Happy Corbin gets that. Condolences to those who have to learn at his hand. Buster. Ninety-nine. Producing consecutive attacks. This is frightening strength here. Scoop slam. JBL isn't being given any room to recover. Right now, Corbin is doing whatever he wants. A right to the midsection. Setting them up for the Falcon Arrow. He's getting a little batter now. And he stonewalls Corbin. JBL managing to find some much needed breathing room. Could be just what JBL needed to battle back in this one. He returns to the ring. Oh, impressive counter. right into the corner and a clothesline or 
everything to lose? That's a tough question, Cole. Corbin has seen both extremes, and I'll bet he'll do anything he can to not fall from grace. But the flip side is that he might get so desperate that he will make mistakes. And there's Corbin. He's sent flying. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. A lot of momentum now on JBL's side. Corbin is fighting like a cornered animal and has made some mistakes, and now we're seeing his opposition capitalize on it. Oh, oh now what could this be? Oh, don't do this. Hung up with the barricade. And a big boot. Three. Back in the ring now. Look at the power of the wrestling god, JBL. Jackknife, shoulders down. No, he gets the shoulder up. I mean, you gotta think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. of these superstars in action. for a moment and realize all your hard work paid off.